Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi parents, guardians, siblings, or whomever's helping out elementary school children. I just want to have a little chat with you today. You know, we're going through a, a different time right now with distance learning and there's all this stuff that you don't know. And it's okay that you don't know. But remember, your children's teachers are here to help you too. There's a lot of online resources out there for you. You don't need to know everything. And it's okay to admit to your children that you don't know. Because then you can show them how to get the information and the help they need to be successful in their education. Let me show you a few things. Next, let's talk about structure. While your children are in school, they have structure. They have things that they do at the same time every day Sometimes at that same time, they may do something on Thursday, they may do something on Wednesday, they may do something on Friday. You need to vary it up a little bit, but have structure. They, they crave it. They want to know what they need to do next. Plus, it breaks up their day into manageable pieces. What I've done is I created a schedule for you. You can use this or create your own. I have a document that will be posted online and the link will be in the description of the video. Let's take a look at this. Today's schedule, read aloud, spelling, writing, exercise and meditation. We're going to come back to meditation. Math and number sense. Lunch, hey, schedule something that they really want. And then read to self. Now, it's going to be different for kindergartners third graders, fourth graders, fifth graders, find out what they do during the day, fill out your chart, and make sure that they have time for themselves too. Now about exercise and meditation. Getting outside and having some fun and running around, you know, be active with them if you can. If you cannot, at least be there for them. About meditation, it's been scientifically proven that meditation helps young children's brains. Helps also to relieve stress and anxiety. Think about it. It's tough right now on them too. And most of the time they do not understand how to properly express themselves. So be available and listen to them. In fact, take a break and meditate with them too. It's not about lighting candles and saying "Om" and entering your, you know, just that space or you know, removing thoughts out of your mind, it's okay just to close your eyes and be quiet for a moment. You can play some meditative music if you want. That's okay too. Try to find a few moments for your children to just relax and not have to worry about anything. Create a safe place for them. Now all of what I'm just telling you is also, it's just research backed. I've seen a lot of uh, posts on social media from parents and other people making fun of all these standards, you know, the common core state standards, especially revolving around math. There was one in particular where a parent had drawn a 10 frame and some X's and dots and such to represent different values for a check. You know, if you don't know, you don't know, and it's okay to ask. My mother, who was a school teacher for 30 years, said there's nothing as such as a stupid question. I always ask questions if I do not know what to do. It's hard to admit that sometimes, but it's okay to. Again, come to a professional. A teacher can help you through this. There's a lot of materials that we already have that can help you understand the math. Let's talk about the math a little bit. In my number talks you see that I draw a lot of pictures and I do a lot of diagrams and I connect things and then you're saying, gosh, why can't we just write out four minus three is equal to one, Mr. Woods? Well, you can, but that's through rote memorization. That means that you just memorize something and you really don't have an idea or a deep understanding about what you're doing. What we're trying to do is use, again, this scientifically research-backed process of forming a 
deeper understanding and promoting critical thinking as something that needs to be done for the future. A lot of jobs are going to require that in the future and we want to prepare them. And it doesn't matter if they're going to be a beautician, a contractor, a plumber, or an electrician, or uh, an engineer, you know, or some sort of scientist. They need to know math. And the way that they can get introduced to it to have a better number sense and a deeper understanding of mathematics is to go through what has been scientifically proven to help them understand. Again, reach out to your teachers and other professionals to help you and your students. You might learn something. I know I did. And I'm going to wrap it up here for you parents. Is no matter what, remember your children are children. My favorite mantra when my children were growing up would be, she's only eight, and now it's, she's only 19. Or, he's only 16, now he's only 22. Everyone makes mistakes, everyone has problems, everyone has things going on. Don't make it worse by getting upset. Just take a moment, take a breath and go, she's only in fourth grade, or she's only 10, or he's six. Don't pass on your worries or your anxiety to your children. They will love you for it later. I'm going to end on a happy note. Remember, there's resources out there. Go online, look for them. I'll put some in the ending credits here. And just remember, love your children, love yourself, and be good to them all. Have a great day.